Assalamu alaikum, namaste, and welcome to the channel. My name is Afan, and today we're going to talk about Australia T20 World Cup 2024 team selection. Ji ha, jam baat karenge Australia ki team selection ka. Lekin before we talk a little bit about Australia's team selection, kya apko pata hai ki Australia cricket ke history mein sabse successful team hai ICC events mein. Ji ha, wo total che World Cups jeet chuke hai abhi tak. Panch ODI World Cups aur ek T20 International World Cup. Aur isse bhi zyada maze ki baat ye hai ki teen World Cups ye musalsal in a row, yani ke World Cups ka hat-trick kiya hai inhone. Or is se bhi zyada amazing baat ye hai, ke us hat-trick mein ek World Cup, Australia Ricky Ponting, legendary captain hai Australia ka, unki captaini mein undefeated rahe hai, pura World Cup without losing one match. Zero losses, saare ke saare victories. Undisputed, undefeated champions. Wow, now that is amazing. In ki kafi rich history hai cricket mein. And like I said, they are the most successful cricket team in the history of ICC World Cups. Six, the only team to win that many. And the only team to win three in a row. And the only team to win one without losing a single match. Undefeated throughout the entire tournament under the captaincy of the legendary Ricky Ponting. So, kya aapke khayal mein is saal, is team ke saath, wo jeet paayenge? Let's take a look who they have selected this time around. Australia current champions bhi hai, last trophy, last T20 World Cup, Australia jeeti under Pat Cummins. Lekin is baar Pat Cummins ko captain nahi banaya. Team mein select kiya hai, lekin captain nahi banaya. Current champion captain ko captain si se nikala. But first, let's take a look at the squad. Pat Cummins squad may select who he is, but like I said, oh, captain nahi hai. Pat Cummins will not be leading this side despite winning last World Cup as captain of Australia. This bar captain jo hai, Mitchell Marsh ko banaya hai. Mitchell Marsh will be captaining the Australian side in this year's World Cup instead of Pat Cummins. Ashton Agar ko bhi select kiya hai. Ashton Agar is a very talented player, of course. So is Pat Cummins. He's a very good option with the bat and the ball. Specifically with the ball, he's a specialist bowler. But he can bat a bit. We have seen him do that so many times. So Mitchell Marsh, who is the captain, is an all-rounder, can ball, can bat, can do it all. Similar to Pat Cummins and Ashton Agar as well. Tim David ko bhi inhone select kiya hai. Up and coming player hai. Or achi performances bhi recently Ki hai, so his selection makes sense. Nathan Ellis, another new player added to the side. Abhi abhi hi international debut ki hai. Umar to inki kafi hai, domestic level pe bhi kafi kail chuke hai. But international level pe bohut recently debut ki hai. So he's a new player on the international level. But he does have a lot of experience, a wealth of experience on the domestic level. That's Nathan Ellis. Cameron Green, the all-rounder who burst onto the scene and took the world by surprise. A very, very good asset for any team to have. And Australia is blessed to have such a talented player on their side. Cameron Green ko bhi select kiya hai, all-rounder hai. Balling, batting dono kar lete hai. Or performances bhi kaafi achi hai unki recently. Again, naya player hai. Experience hai, domestic level pe. But international level pe, abhi abhi start kiya hai career. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing how he's going to perform. Then we have the veteran, Josh Hazelwood, the specialist right arm pacer. He bowls really well. He's not the quickest, but he's very accurate and he can get the ball to nip around. A very dangerous bowler to have on your side. He's conservative, but also possesses the ability to take wickets. Ji ha, Josh Hazelwood ko bhi select kiya hai, jo ke bohut hi specialist bowler hai. Run rate ko bhi slow kar sakte hai, aur wicket taking option B hai. So he's a very good addition to the squad overall. Travis Head, the left-handed batsman. He can bat in the test, he can bat in the ODIs, and he can definitely bat in the T20 internationals. His selection is a no-brainer. He had to be selected. One of the best batsmen around at the moment. Travis Head ko bhi select kiya hai, jo ke mere khayal mein currently one of the best batsmen hai. Dunya mein left arm aggressive bhi hai, conservative bhi hai. 
तीनों फॉर्मेट इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे काफी खेल चुके हैं काफी एक्सपीरियंस भी है तो ही ब्रिंग्स अ लॉट टू द साइड सो दैट्स अ गुड सिलेक्शन इन माय ओपिनियन एट लीस्ट लेट मी नो इफ यू गाइस एग्री इन द कमेंट्स डाउन बिलो जोशी इंग्लिश इज अनदर प्लेयर दैट दे हैव सिलेक्टेड वी हैव नॉट सीन हिम टू मच ऑन द इंटरनेशनल फ्रंट we have seen him a lot in the big bash and in other leagues around the world and the domestic level as well he's a good performer he has a good record domestic record and i'm very much looking forward to seeing how he's going to perform on the biggest stage in cricket that is the world cup of course josh english ki selection bhi hui hai josh english relatively naya hai इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे लेकिन डोमेस्टिक लेवल पे काफी खेल चुका है काफी एक्सपीरियंस है इसके पास बिग बैश में भी हमने देखा है काफी खेल चुका है सो टी ट्वेंटी में स्पेसिफिकली स्पेशलिस्ट और आई थिंक इसी वजह से ही इसको सिलेक्ट किया है नेशनल टीम में मैं तो बहुत एक्साइटेड हूँ इस प्लेयर की परफॉर्मेंस को नाउ देन वी हैव द बिग मैन द फायर वर्क इट्स ग्लेन मैक्सवेल मैक्सी मैक्सवेल विद मैक्सिमम पावर He's coming off of an absolutely heroic innings against Afghanistan in last year's World Cup, single-handedly limping to the victory line, unlike any other batsman in the world. Two hundred runs scored, unbelievable stuff, stuff of legends, fairy tales. Something that if I tell someone that this actually happened, they'll laugh in my face. But guess what? This actually happened. Glenn Maxwell की जितनी भी तारीफ करूं मैं कम है क्योंकि हमने देखा वो कैसे इम्पैक्ट प्लेयर है अनऑर्थोडॉक्स प्लेयर प्लेयर है, है, अग्रेसिव अजीबोगरीब से शॉट्स खेलता है थ्री सिक्सटी प्लेयर है बॉलर कैप्टन फील्डर सब किसी को इवन क्राउड तमाशाई को भी पता नहीं होता बॉल कहाँ से आई और कहा गई ऐसा बैट्समैन है ये किसी भी टाइम किसी भी टीम के खिलाफ धमाकेदार परफॉर्मेंस दे सकता है जैसे हमने देखा अफगानिस्तान के खिलाफ सिंगल हैंडेडली मैच जीता है डबल सेंचुरी करके इंजरी के दौरान अमेजिंग स्टफ वॉरियर है बिल्कुल तो इसके टीम में सिलेक्शन तो बिल्कुल बनता है और ये तो हमने सिर्फ इसकी बैटिंग के बारे में बात की एक बहुत अच्छा बॉलर भी है इज अ वेरी गुड बॉलिंग ऑप्शन एज वेल सो ग्लेन मैक्सवेल वुड मेक एनी साइड रियली एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया शुड बी थैंकफुल ही इज प्लेइंग फॉर देम एंड नॉट अगेंस्ट देम नेक्स्ट अप देन वी हैव द स्पीडस्टर द एक्सप्रेस मिचेल स्टार्क लेफ्ट आर्म स्पीडस्टर स्विंग बॉलर यू कैन रियली गिव इट अ टर्न विद द न्यू बॉल बैम्बूजल द बैट्समैन टम्स फ्लाइंग अराउंड बेल्स फ्लाइंग अराउंड ही इज रियली गुड विद द यॉर्कर्स बिकॉज ऑफ हिस पेस एंड स्विंग दैट ही गेट्स is a dangerous option for any team to have that's a very very good option and he's a left arm bowler as well so he gets that natural advantage against right handed batsmen mitchell stark who doesn't know mitchell stark mitchell stark ko bhi select kiya obviously usko select karna to tha left arm fast bowler hai bahut hi tez gend dalta hai swing bhi karta hai ball ko nayi ball ke sath particularly aur bahut dangerous yorkers bhi karte hain and like i said about previous left uh, arm bowlers as well left arm pacers jo hai ye bahut advantage hota hai team ke paas when they have this bowler kyunki right arm batsman ke khilaf left arm bowler ko ek natural angle milta hai jo ki bahut difficult hota hai right arm batsman ko khelna so having a left arm pacer is a blessing for any side mid stark is a blessing Nonetheless, they call him the big man for a reason. So select करना तो इसको लाजमी ही था. Next up we have Matthew Wade, the wicket-keeping left-arm batsman who has the ability to really find the gaps and find the rope with so much ease. He's a very talented player. We have seen him open in the big bash as well, but he can also play down the order. So he's a versatile batsman. He can finish the game off. He can start the game off for you as well. He's an all-round great player, and he's a wicket keeper. So he's a must-have. Matthew Wade, okay, wicket keeping bhi karte hain aur left-arm batsman hai. Opening bhi ki hai na ne big bash mein, middle order mein bhi kele hain aur down the order. As a finisher भी खेले हैं तो बहुत ही versatile player है aggressively भी खेलते हैं conservatively भी खेलते हैं ones or twos भी लेते हैं boundaries भी और अगर aggression की जरूरत हो तो aggressive भी खेल सकते हैं और wicket keeper है obviously wicket keeper को तो select करना ही होता है then we have the legendary David Warner left arm opener 
aggressive on the field and a quite a character off the field as well he's a very consistent performer he's a very aggressive batsman and he has the ability to read the game really well and take the game away from any opponent he's not afraid of any bowlers he'll face off against anyone and dominate anyone with ease as he has done throughout his career. Jiha, next up we have David Warner. Joke Bohdi Umda Kelte hai opening batsman hai bodhi aggressive batsman hai. Like in conservatively B Kel Sakte hai gar team ko zarurato. Bodhi senior player hai a lot of experience has ke pass. So game read karna or innings ko chalana in a bodhi achi tarike se aata hai. New ball ko see off karna in a bodh acha aata hai. Or kisi bi team se match. Chinna in ki specialty hai. Bota sani se kar lete hai. Or kar chuke hai throughout his career. So yeah, that's really it. That's the Aussie side. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. So you do not miss out on future videos like that. Kyunki mein or teams ke baare mein bhi aisi videos karunga. To subscribe karna na bhuli ga. Notification ka bell bhi dabai. Taki aapko notification mile jab bhi mein upload karun videos. Kyunki kaafi teams ayi baaki hai. उन सब के बारे में हम बात करेंगे चलो जी दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे आई होप यू एंजॉयड द वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग एंड आई विल सी यू गाइस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो अंटिल देन अलविदा अल्लाह हाफिज एंड गुड बाय